Um, my name is Kyla and my lamb's name is Teddy and I've been I've had him for five or six months and right now he is about eight months um, he's at first he didn't know anything but now he knows how to brace and walk and um, jump over things and do all that um, he's pretty well behave we show him um, today we do market and tomorrow we show him for showmanship and today's really just about the animal and tomorrow it's us and how we work with the animal um, so we have to brace him like have him like set up a certain way we have to um, answer questions about how much we know the animal and the stuff like that I think they're just looking for how you um, and the animal work together and how you train the animal to be good. It was a challenge. At first he didn't listen at all and at all. Um, now he's pretty good. Like he'll stand here and not run off. Uh, he will stand there while we wash him. He'll listen to what I tell him to do. Um, but at first he, he didn't know how to do anything. Uh, we feed him twice a day, morning and night. Um, he's pretty loud when he is hungry, so he's very demanding when he wants food. Hello, my name is Nathaniel. My pig Stanley is over there. And my pig, I've had fun raising my pig. It's been a little bit hard trying to raise my pig because it didn't make weight. But other than that, it's been a pretty good and fun time doing the pig project in our local 4-H group. Um, our 4-H group is Rosemont Red Racers, and I usually feed my pig the Purina Show Chow at about a pound or two pounds. I have had fun raising my pig and being in the swine project. Hi, I'm Natalie Vasquez, and this is my pig. I am part of the Antelope Valley FFA chapter, and I am showing my pig for the Antelope Valley Fair. I've had my pig since April, and I feed him a feed called Sunglow G-Line, and I'm not really sure what's in it, but um, it, it does involve nutrients that the pigs need. They're noisy and messy, but for me, I love raising animals ever since the first year I showed, which was three years ago. And I fell in love with agriculture and, let's see, uh, it isn't hard if you put the time and effort into it, but if you do, if you don't go every day or like every once in a while, it will be hard for raising a pig. I would absolutely recommend it. Hi, my name is Rima Barato and my pig's name is PJ. She's named after my first pig who was Penelope, so she's Penelope Junior. Uh, I've had her for three months and I've worked her two times a day, every day, about four hours every day. <laughs> so I think the uh, judges are typically looking for us to see a communication between our animals, see if we actually know what we're working with and how much time and effort we've actually put in. Um, an animal really reflects what you've put into it. So whether you've given it good feed or bad feed, it's important to them to know that you've taken the best care of them that you can. Uh, she has a crazy personality. Sometimes she's really stubborn and doesn't go into her pen. But you know, she's really sweet overall. Uh, she won't actually market uh, for FFA. So I'm very proud of her. I recommend it for other kids just because it's a good responsibility to take on. A lot of people don't know what to do with their time and this is something that's very fun and it's a very rewarding experience. So I definitely recommend it for anyone who's looking into even thinking about raising a pig or any other livestock. Hello, my name is Wyatt Piesinger. This is my pig, Pinky. The one that's right there, 328. She weighs 221 pounds when she came through the scale. Now she's probably 225 around that area because she's been here for about four days. She's been acting pretty good. I did good for market and showmanship. For market, I got um, sixth place market ready, which means I can sell my pig. And on showmanship, I got seventh place. Seventh place.
because the judge had a few things I needed to do. She was kind of a pain. She, sometimes she didn't want to eat, sometimes she did. It was everyone, our other friend, my friend's pigs and my brother's pig were the, pretty much the reason why we had to keep doing that to the pigs, so. We had to get the weight up on them. I'm probably gonna do a lamb, a pig, and a rabbit next year.